What tree is your favourite in Milton Keynes and why? So my favourite tree in Milton Keynes is an ancient oak tree that is in Howe Park Wood. Uh, this is my favourite tree because it supports so much wildlife. Around 2,300 species rely on oak trees to survive and over 300 of those solely rely on the oak trees. This one in particular is around 500 years old and oak trees become classed as ancient trees when they reach 400 years old. Uh, when they're this old, they develop cracks, crevices, um, bits of deadwood, which support so much more wildlife as they get into their old age. So that's why I really like this tree in particular. And how did you discover this tree? So a colleague was showing me around the wood when I started my role here at the Parks Trust and it was a really special tree to her and it really stood out to me as being a tree that supported loads and loads of wildlife as well. And was there any specific characteristics that uh, brought your attention to the tree? Um, I like that it doesn't look perfect, um, but it is. it supports just so much wildlife despite not looking like an amazing tree. Um, and I like that it's a bit of a secret as well, not many people know about it. And other than this tree, is there any specific tree species that you really like? Uh, my personal favourite species of tree is a horse chestnut tree. This is because when I was younger, there was one at the end of my road and my friends and I would go play in it, make leaf piles um, and we collect lots of conkers. So that species of tree holds a lot of special memories for me. And when you think about trees, is there anything that you think people can learn from them? Um, I think people can learn that good things come with time and to be patient. This oak tree in particular, um, it, as it got older, it supported more and more wildlife. So things get better as, as you go on, yeah. And what role do you play at the Parks Trust? Um, I work on the outdoor learning team here at the Parks Trust. I think it's really important to encourage young people into nature and getting them outside and just making them aware of the really special things that we have here in this country in regards to wildlife as well as elsewhere.